This is a story about a drifter who rolled into town about eight months ago, named Pastor Stewart, or that's what we called him at least. He always carried a handgun and a Bible. And why a handgun, you might ask? Well, because of a very skewed interpretation of that Bible he always carries. Now, if you had a problem, you'd bring it to Pastor Stewart, and he'd fix it for you in a day. But the catch was, you might not see the person you had a problem with in the church the next day. This is because he went around killing people he deemed as evildoers and sinners to help further the justice of God and help people or something like that. Now, was he doing this with the right heart and good intentions? I'd like to believe so, because he was the nicest guy you'll ever meet, but nobody can really know for sure. And did he ever come to realize what he was doing was wrong and try and fix that? Well, this is a story about that question exactly. Hello there. Um, well, I think my wife may be cheating on me, and I don't know what to do. Well, it says here, Matthew 16, 18, everyone who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery. Mm. I hope you're not planning on divorcing your wife. God has a solution. Let's pray. Father, we pray you help Mr. Sean through his hard time and that your Holy Spirit and helps and in, inflict vengeance and helping Mr. Chong through this rough patch in his life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Is there anything else you'd like me to uh, just, help just, you just pray for me and, and her. Um, it, things usually just work themselves out. I will be praying for you tonight. Hi, I'm Pastor Story. Yeah, what are you doing in my driveway? Have you heard of the Bible verse on Hebrews 13.4? No, sir, I'm not familiar. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and adulterous. You know what this means. Adultery is a harsh sin, and it will be judged harshly. You know, son, God forgives, but I don't. Whoa, 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 I don't even have a wife, okay? You know, lying is also a sin. I have a three strike rule. Buddy, I don't even know what you're talking about, okay? That's three. Hello there. Hey, how are you? Um, recently my half-brother passed away. He was actually shot uh, twice in the chest. Um, and I'm just wondering if you could, you know, pray for uh, his family and my family. Um, it's a very rough time in our lives. Dear Heavenly Father, we we, we hope that you are with the family of the lo families of the lost, and that you redeem them with of their sins, and you cast away the sins of all of us affected by this tragedy and that he is with you up in heaven with Jesus. Um, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Yeah. God bless you. Hey, I'm sorry for your loss, but, you know, God works in mysterious ways, so... Thank you again, Pastor. Everything will turn out fine.
forsake me, Father. For I know it's what I do.